Hello, YouTube. My name is Equagan. You call me EK. Uh, I stream daily at twitch.tv slash Equagan. In today's video, I want to go over the Tripwire Cannery, which is the Season of the Seraph seasonal bow. So far, when I looked at it, I was like, this bow can be really fun. We have a lot of different arc bows in the game, but this is the very first craftable arc bow that we have, and I kind of like the selection. So it, let's look through Gunsmith real quick. You can put explosives together with like Arch's Tempo. Some people say I reminded them of the Ars Arsenic Bite, but you gotta remember that Arsenic Bite. Arsenic actually has the power to give you Rampage and Explosive Head. I kept another arc one that had Arch's Tempo and Frenzy on there, and then I had Wolf Tone, which came with Impulse and Dragonfly. But I wanted something that was going to be very reliable on, and with this bow, we also have the Vice Singer perk, which you receive faster draw speed on bows, which is really nice. Now, the other the other trait is called Ambush. Improves range handling and damage against combatants during the opening moments of an engagement. But I don't really think I need this much, especially on a primary if I'm going to have it out most of the time. I know a lot of people are probably going to ask this. Rapid hit. Rapid hit is not needed. All right, you're using the bow. Rapid hit is like if you have a single target and you're putting a lot of damage on, then you can reload quick. But a bow is a single shot. If anything, if you really want to see that reload, Archer's Temple is going to be the play here. Uh, Under Over is a cool perk. I'm not a huge fan on it. I think if Bungie made a weapon that had Under Over and Adaptive Munitions on there, sure, this could be a little, could be a fun perk to go with. Now, I'm not a bow person for Crucible, but um, I don't really have any comment when it comes down to that part. Now, what I do like is that this is a lightweight bow and it has multiple options, right? I thought about Dragonfly Swashbuckler, but then I was like, eh, that's kind of niche. I went with Dragonfly and Explosive. The reason why I went with Dragonfly and Explosive is because I consistently have the Explosive, which is going to give me extra damage no matter what. And then if there's a bunch of ads and I get the shot off, that means that I can kind of clear up the room. The neat thing here, too, is having this Vice Stinger because damage an enemy with this weapon has a small chance to reload the mag, right? But then on a bow, you receive faster draw speed when you damage. And the neat thing is both of these can damage multiple things at once, right? Like explosive, if I shoot something and there's other targets nearby, it's going to, it's going to proc that as well. Dragonfly is the same thing. Now, Dragonfly, if you go for an enhance, you get reload. For explosive head, if you go for enhance, you get accuracy. You get five extra accuracy. With these two in mind, I went with fiberglass because I like accuracy. I'm not worried about stability when it comes to my bow. You can kind of see here as well that the, uh, what the stats are. And I went with polymer, sh uh, polymer string. So it slightly, slightly increases my accuracy, and I get a, a faster draw time. My masterwork for this bow is also draw time. So you see that my draw time is at 540. Now, once again, I wanted something different, something that I can use in multiple instances in the game. I just did a few strikes with it. It wasn't even arc burn and it felt really good. And as you can see that that Dragonfly proc the Vice Stinger perk for me really quickly, right? So if you're hitting multiple targets, you're probably not gonna be paying attention to all your buffs on screen all the time, but that is something that is going to proc a bunch. And if I'm talking about for ad clear or the ability to just consistently stun champions, like when bows are overloads or bows are like unstoppable or something like that, they work really well. And the reason why they work really well is because you have you have explosive uh, head on it or, uh, you know, explosive head on bows and just explosive shots on regular weapons. You can see there just run through the room, right? The Vice Singer perk proc the bunch. I didn't really pay attention to it, but the bow felt a lot better because of it. All right, um, if you have a particular role that you made on this bow, definitely leave it in the comments. We do have the Destiny 2 discussion room in my Discord if you want to jump in on a discussion. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. If you don't like the video, make sure you hit the unlike. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I'm not, the, you know, the one for you. Um, another thing, too, is when you, when you subscribe to the channel for notifications, if you do want every video that is made from this channel to be notified for you, uh, make sure you click on all instead of uh, percent personified or personalized i don't know what what the option is but there's an option where you get you get to click on all make sure you have all the videos that come up from this channel come up for you but yeah that's about it for today's video i'll see you in the next one deuces